Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. So today's video is going to be a little spend the day with me vlog. I was going to start this video in the car and then I realised I don't actually have a tripod for the car so that's probably going to be really dangerous because I just know my camera will literally fly off like the front of the car. I'm just going to put you there whilst I put my converse on. This is my outfit for today. I've got some jeans on that are from Pull and Bear. This little crop top from Princess Polly and the jacket is also from Princess Polly. And then I've just got my little black bag downstairs. These jeans are so tight, like around the thighs. But they've got some room to the waist, but the only problem is, is when I'm putting my shoes on like this, it's so restricting. Kinda hoping my Converse go because I can't really be bothered finding any of the shoes. I'm gonna sit down because it's easier. The plan for today is to get my nails done because I don't know if you can tell, but we have one missing. I'll show you closer in a minute. But they're like really grown out as well. And then I think me and Dan are going to go for a mooch around the shops. Haven't been to Primark in like, I want to say like six months. It's been ages and I just keep seeing things all over my TikTok page where there's like loads of new makeup and things like that that they've got in. Realistically, I don't need any more clothes. My camera's doing this thing again where it doesn't want to focus. But yeah, I'll either see you in the car or when I'm getting my nails done. This is the current state of these nails here. And then I've also got this one missing, so these need fixing. I might go for like a short French tip. Like, you know, the really thin one. I did also do my hair, like my bangs and everything, with the GHD, I think it's the Hot Rise brush, but my hair just doesn't hold any hairstyle, so it's kind of falling out, but yeah, I'm going now. journey back to the car <laughs> just got my nails did she didn't do them as short as I wanted them or as short as I asked but I actually quite prefer that length and they look really nice what do you think yes nice scratch Dan's, test Dan's here by the way everyone Dan only approves when I do the scratch test and no it's on his head or his back are you excited to go to Meadowall? Not really. Are you not? No, because it's Saturday and it's Meadowall. I know, but... I'm not going to leave my camera there because... It'll just go flying more then. Probably. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's warm! There's air conditioning cranked up. That was like the most Yorkshire thing I could have ever said. Well, Bloody hell, it's warm. We'll see ya. Probably can't hear us, but we'll see ya. Tell you now. <laughs> Takes a while. We'll see ya when we go to Meadowall because best believe I'm not driving. Oh, I am driving apparently. But I'm not going to drive the entire way there. Are you waiting to see if my camera falls off? Yep. I don't think it will, you know. I think it will. <laughs> oh! There you go. <laughs> I don't know if I'll even get you in, but... Yeah, see you when we get to Meadowall. <laughs> We've got to Meadowall and the weather is disgusting. It's actually gross. It's raining cats and dogs. I don't know why my accent changes. Every bloody video! Can I have my dog, please? Thank you very much. Probably gonna vlog when I get inside because realistically, I'm gonna be running through the rain like a wet dog. And I don't want to get my camera wet. 
We've just come into Meadowall and they've got like these vending machines with fake eyelashes in them. What is that? Why does that say salt and vinegar? I'm very salted. How cool does that look? I kind of want some. I think I've seen this on Instagram. They're actually not that expensive either. They're only like four or five pounds. So if anyone's looking for some eyelashes and you come to Meadowall, they've got a little vending machine for them. That's cute. Distracted as soon as I come in. <laughs> I really want to go to Zara and get like the Red Temptation perfume. Because everyone says it smells like Baccarat Rouge. Are you down for Zara? Yeah. <laughs> Dan says he's down for Zara, but I don't, yeah. I don't think he actually is. Are you down for Zara if you see anything you like in there? You found something you liked last time. I'm sure it was like, was it like a hoodie or something? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Zara. It's really busy, so I'm probably not going to vlog in here a lot. But I've just found this top. It's really cute. And it's only twenty nine pounds. But I've just said to Dan, realistically, do I need any more clothes? I literally said at the start of this vlog, I'm not buying clothes because I don't need any more. But this is really cute, and the top, like matching trousers for it as well. Oh, they've got like a grey boiler suit, that's really nice. I'm not going to vlog in here anymore because it's too busy and I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> the shoe shop. It might be, it's not office, I'm walking past office, but we just went into a shoe shop and they've got Jordans, like the high top and the mid top, for £110. Like the really popular colours as well, I think they had all sizes, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. I'm literally just giving everyone tips if you want to come to Meadowall and get shoes for a decent price. <laughs> I think we're going to Pull and Bear now because that's literally like my favourite shop. We're in Selfridges because I wanted a new lip line and the only one I can find is Subculture or World by Mac. I either wanted Corp or I wanted more for Sweet Pea but we literally can't find it anywhere. I don't think they're selling that many lip liners and I don't know if it's worth getting a lip liner that I've not even tested. Probably gonna walk out of here not buying anything, which is not my thing. If I could recommend a powder to anyone, it would definitely be this one from Beauty Baker. I used to use it all the time. The only reason I'm not gonna buy one is because I've got like three at home. And I just feel like it'll be a waste of money, but honestly, this is so good and it's like 22 50 I really want a lip liner from Morphe. <laughs> what? Yeah. We all know what that's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Dan just showed me a meme and I'm just like, we all know what, what's going to happen there. Ooh, Zoeva. I remember wanting Zoeva's brushes for ages when I was younger. We're in Primark trying to find like a new bed cover, but I do. There's a Super King and they literally don't have a Super King anywhere. I did go into Flannels though and I bought some little makeup bits and some skincare. I really want a new <laughs> bed cover. <laughs> Oh, they've got like the pink ones and everything in the super pink, but not the white one. Shall I get some more hangers while I'm here, do you think? Yeah. Just think of seeing as well, there's the loads behind me. I think I should just get the cheap ones. I agree. Would you probably? Well, get the cheap ones. Yeah. They've got them, but there's only five of them. I like the wooden ones. Yeah. They're only three pounds. How many do you think I'd need? If I got 20, it'd be 12 quid. Yeah. yeah, do you know what? I'll just go on um so, like, you've got like 40 of them for the same price, just 20. I might just go on Amazon and get them soft touch ones that we've already got. Yeah. And get like 50 of them, can't you? I've just yeah. seen this. There's like a little Skims called the Moulded Cut Bodysuit. I've never actually tried them from here, but everyone says that they're really good. Oh, they've got more bed covers here. But they're not white. Where is it? I need to find it, but I don't want to move my seat because it's like the perfect position. I lost my purse, it's fallen out of my bag. You, I think I'm going to have to get out of the car, you know, look under the seat. I mean, it's raining. Oh, it's right down there. <laughs> down there. Got, got it. My back's getting wet. Yay! When we went into Zara, I got, well I didn't get it, but I found the Red Temptation perfume and also the Red Temptations, Red Tent, that mm. perfume. Mm. <laughs> the summer one. The summer one's a lot nicer I think, but I just don't rate either of them. No. And you don't either, do you? No. 
they're all right i've got two from tiktok shop that actually smell nicer um like they're a bit similar but they smell nicer so yeah i don't really get the hype around it i genuinely thought i was gonna go to zara and walk out with it and when they had loads i was like oh my god i want to get it and then i smelt it and i was like no it's really overhyped i went into flannels though i think the last time i vlogged we was in primark but it was literally carnage in there and it was so sweaty so i couldn't really vlog that much but i got basically makeup and skincare all from boots and i say flannels it's like morphe Too faced inky list and Nars, is it? Mm. Yeah. And then I was very tempted to get a new phone. But I'm still in contract on mine. We love that. Yeah. I'm going to get home and then I'll do everyone a haul on what I got. <laughs> now everyone knows what happened behind the thumbnail. Oh, will you hold the bags, please? Because they'll slip and slide. I love the mini divided boat. Because it's raining. And I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> Inconvenience my comfort on the ride. Home. Should we have a karaoke on the way back? No. You just say no? Yeah, I did. It's not my fault I got a Krispy Kreme and they didn't have yours. Nope, it's not. It's Krispy Kreme's fault for poor planning. No, you've got If I were in that shop, I'd know now we're coming for a chocolate sprinkles donut. Well, yeah, because you'd be running the. Yeah, because you'd be running the shop, you did get. <laughs> Do you want a tiny little bite? No. Are you sure? No, I'm sure. I'm being nice to you. No, Why are you, you taking it out on me? I don't want one. I'm not going to eat you. <laughs> I, know, I thought you were going to tell me donut. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Krispy Kreme, didn't have Dan's donut. And I was bitter about it. I am. Krispy Kreme, I'd all do better. <laughs> We're gonna have a karaoke on the way back. Even though Dan just said no. Why have you got my own shoe set? Hang on, can we just see what's happening here? I get a new car and Dan just decides to litter it and then just throws my orange juice there, which is literally just gonna slide off. I didn't throw it back. <laughs> I well, it's that. not gonna stand up, is it? Remove your rubbish. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna drive. My Krispy Kreme and have a karaoke with Dan. I'm gonna sing my heart out. I'm back home, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour of what I picked up today. How cute was this top? I picked it up in my recent Princess Polly haul, and it's literally like the nicest fitting top. And I love how it's like a baby tee and like the slogan on it. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I picked up in flannels and boots. I say flannels, but it was more like it's not clothes or anything, it was more from the makeup aisle so from boots i was gonna get these from so they don't actually sell Too Faced in flannels I haven't used Too Faced in the longest time the Too Faced chocolate soleil bronzer i got it in the shade i think it was the medium one but it's like a nice subtle bronzer that's buildable at the same time and it smells like mini eggs it's literally the best bronzer i've ever owned and i can't believe i stopped using it and didn't repurchase it and then i also picked up a mac lip liner i was gonna get this from like the little concession in flannels but they didn't actually have any lip liners out or i think they had like three and this wasn't one of them i was gonna get cork but cork was really dark look at the state of my hand where i've been tested everything so cork is that one on the bottom and then strip down is the one above it so yeah i decided to get that one if you're wondering why my hands are such a mess it's because i've been testing makeup like foundation and everything so yeah i picked up those two from boots and then I got these from the Inky List. Now, they do actually stock the Inky List in boots, but this is where we went first. And these, I think they were doing like 20% off, actually, in flannels. So I got the Salicylic Acid Cleanser and then the Oat Balm Cleanser. I thought this was like a regular cleanser then, but this is actually like a cleansing balm. So I'm going to use this to take my makeup off with. And then the second one I'm going to use as like a double cleanse because why is my camera not focusing? My camera literally does this thing from time to time where it doesn't want to focus and I don't know why. I also picked up this one so I wanted this one for like my second cleanse because salicylic acid is really good for like blemish, blemish, to, why can't I talk? Salicylic acid is really good for blemish prone and oily skin and it also says it helps to reduce blackheads and breakouts. So I'm really excited to use this. I've used the Inculus before. Inculus and The Ordinary are like one of my favourite skincare brands. Um, because it's just got the ingredients that you need in it and nothing extra. 
not got any like perfumes or anything in so i picked up those two which i'm really excited to use and then i also picked up a foundation so i got this from nars i was gonna get the i think it's the light reflecting foundation and it felt really nice the consistency but it was really thin and i just know full well that my oils would break out so like for instance i've been wearing the hmb foundation today but i didn't put my primer underneath so it is a little bit oily but nothing too crazy it's still a really nice foundation but this one is the soft matte complete foundation and i thought this would be really nice obviously because i get like extremely oily throughout the day like three hours of me wearing foundation and i literally look like a grease ball so i picked up this i did have the nars radiant i think it was the long wear foundation i don't know where it's gone though i literally can't i've torn my room upside down i literally can't find it anywhere and that was one of my favorite foundations as well but don't know where that is either so yeah ended up picking up these five little goodies i'm so excited about this bronzer because like i said before i've not used this in so many years and it was my favorite one and i love the packaging of two face bronzers they've changed it a little bit to what it did used to look like but it's still really cute i can't even know if it's my nails that's what the shade looks like that i picked up and it just smells oh, it smells incredible i think i'm going to sit down tomorrow and do a makeup video because one of you actually commented asking for an everyday makeup video so i might sit down and do that tomorrow but use like the new things that i got so sort of like a first impression at the same time then with this i know i'm gonna love it already just a mini haul i was really tempted to go into o2 and pay off my phone contract how stupid is this and i've been on the phone to o2 as well and they like can't even answer why but for this phone which i think is the iphone 13 pro I'm paying £80 a month for it and I didn't even realise so I checked my bank the other day and I was like why is so much going out to O2 and then I checked my tariff and my tariff was like my tariff was like £55 and then the rest was for the phone because like it comes out in two separate payments and I'm just thinking why am I paying that and I could literally get the newest phone that's so much cheaper on Sky so I was really tempted to do that today and then I was like no I can't be bothered. I think I'm going to change into something comfy now because these jeans have just been so restricting all day. They're really nice and they're actually really comfy like when you're walking, but you know when you sat down driving? They just hurt. Yeah, I think I'm going to put some, maybe some pyjamas or something on. And then tonight I'll use the oak cleanser and everything. We'll see how that is. Because I actually think it'll be really good. I really like the inky list stuff. I think I'm going to wear my moo cow pyjamas. These are like my favourite pyjamas ever. I got these from either Sheen or Romwear. I think it was Romwear. They're basically the same brand though. And they've got little cows all over them. So I think I'm going to put these on. Have some tea with Dan. I also need to wash my hand because... What is that? <laughs> Rings are off. Dressing gowns on. Pyjamas are on. It feels so nice to actually take your rings off. Have I shown my nails properly? I don't know if I have. I haven't this is my nails again but yeah i'm gonna go downstairs and i'm gonna watch a bit of tv eat some food and yeah chill for the rest of the night you're balancing on top of the toothpaste and i have a light with me because if i put the lights on in here you're gonna hear the fan and it's gonna be really annoying so i'm just kind of hoping that this light is okay if i put it on the white one is that better oh, i think that's even more yellow is that better We'll leave it at that. I'm just going to kind of hope and pray that you don't fall in the sink whilst I'm washing my face. I've already got a crack in the corner of my camera because I'm pretty sure I dropped it once but I can't actually remember doing that. I don't know what's wrong with me but I've been tired all day and I really wanted a nap and I really wanted to take my makeup off. But I couldn't be bothered and I really wanted to save it for you guys so that we could try these bad boys out together. John and Lipscomb literally adores the oak cleansing bar. I've seen him use it on TikTok, so hopefully I adore it as well. Um, but yeah, the only problem is, is I do have my face halo. I don't know if it's dirty or if it's stained. I'm gonna go with stained, but I think it's the other one. Also, fun fact, whoa, actually, where is it? I was gonna say fun fact, I have to wear a splint at night because I grind my teeth and clench my jaw. But I don't know where it is. So this claims to be a cleansing bar I'm using oat kernel oil, a rich natural oil which hydrates and moisturises the skin. Also formulated with collodial oatmeal, which contains high level of skin beneficial and natural activities. I do have really high hopes for this because I absolutely adore the ordinary, like I was saying earlier. Oh, that's fun. 
when you look inside the back and it's got like little instructions. Oily skin types may be better suited to a lighter, more gel based cleanser, e.g. a salicylic acid cleanser. Yeah boy! Dry skin types may be better suited to more nourishing and richer barbs or cream based cleansers such as this. Well, you girls are going to use both. I'm literally just going to... There's a seal on it, of course. I'm just going to take... Is that too much? Is that enough? I'm just going to take that amount on my hand. Also, I know I said earlier that my skin was like really oily. But I just want to say that HMV foundation is literally a godsend because how flawless, apart from it being quite shiny, how flawless does my skin actually look? I just wanted to touch base on the foundation because I absolutely love it. Oh, this feels nice. Oh. Oh my god, look at how it's just like instantly taken the foundation off. I had loads of powder on today as well, like I powdered my entire face with a powder puff and a brush. And it's literally taken all of that off. Doesn't have a scent to it. Do you know what it smells like? E45. And I'm not really mad about that to be honest. I don't really like it on my skincare. Has a lot of fragrance in it. I have no mirror in my bathroom by the way. Because we need to basically drill one in the tiles. Like one of them that comes out to the side. I haven't got around to doing that yet. So I'm literally looking in the reflection of my bathroom window. <laughs> the real test is the eyes, the mascara. I use the Maybelline Surreal Mascara and I believe it's waterproof. So I just want to know if it takes this off. So I didn't really take my mascara off, but then again, I double cleanse, so I'm not really bothered. This is like the most satisfying part now, just watching it all come off my face. Oh yeah. I really want to see how my skin feels afterwards though, because I don't want it to be dry. Which if this is catered more towards dry skin, then I don't think it will be. Nobody asked for this review. <laughs> Yeah, here I am. It didn't actually do a bad job, to be honest, of taking it off my mascara, I'm not gonna lie. I think I just need to like activate it a little bit with water. This does say that you can leave it on as like a mask for 10 minutes as well, so I'll probably do that not tonight, but another night. Look at how white my face is compared to my body. I go on the sunbeds, this is not me promoting them by the way, but I go on the sunbeds and my face just, just doesn't want to tan. Tans in the sun, but it burns to be fair. My skin feels really hydrated. That feels really, really nice. I'm now gonna use, I just, literally just chuck water all over my face when I'm talking to you like this. Like, what am I even doing? This is the salicylic acid cleanser, which as I said before, it's good for blemish prone, oily skin. They also tell you on the side as well, like what orders do with your skincare in. That's like really liquidy, I quite like that. I wanna see if it foams. Oh, it feels thicker when you rub it together. I really like the consistency of this. I think I put way too much on, to be honest. I've literally just rubbed my eyes, so I'm not even going to attempt to open them because Lord knows, as soon as I open my eyes, the cleanser will get in them. Mascara is off. The got to break, got to break, got to be glued out of my brows has gone as well. I really like the feel of my skin, it doesn't feel dry, so them two products definitely get a yes from me. They were both £11 each as well, by the way, if anyone's wondering, which I think is a really good price to say that they're both 150ml. So yeah, if anyone's interested in getting these, I highly recommend them. Obviously, I've only used them once, but I just know that the Inky List and like the Ordinary is really good. I'm just really trying to clear up my skin. I've been drinking like one and a half litres of water every day as well. Like taking a huge flask with me everywhere I go, drinking that. So yeah, hopefully for summer, we've got clear skin. If anyone's looking for huge cotton rounds, they're really cheap. Morrison's is your best bet. These are like 80p. And then I'm going to go with the Ordinary Glycolic Acid. I used to use this religiously. If anyone is an OG here and has been subscribed to me from the start, then you'll know. You'll already know I love the Ordinary and like the Inky List. I'm just going to take a little bit of this, put it on a cotton round and then just lightly swipe it over my skin. If you've got sensitive skin, this might not be for you. I mean, you can definitely build your skin up to it because it used to sting at first when I used it. If you've got like any open spots, it definitely stings there. But yeah, you can definitely like build your skin up. This is going to be a true test as well to see if them cleansers worked. So if I've got any makeup on this cotton round, 
that my skin wasn't clear to begin with. Oh yeah, look at that. That is how you know you've got a good cleansing routine. Also, if anyone gets any acne, like on the chest or anything, because it's actually extremely common if you get it on your face especially, this is really good for that. Because I've used so many like, are they called AHAs? Things like that all over my skin. I'm just gonna go in with a regular moisturizer. This one's from Simple. And it's just the Hydrate and Light Moisturizer. I don't want to add too many things to my skin. And then it potentially like react with everything. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on. Skincare is done. I'm actually gonna keep you guys updated like in my other vlogs and things like that to see how my skin is looking because I just get a lot of hormonal spots, like especially on my cheeks and like my chin and everything. It's mainly blackheads that I pick and then turn into spots. So if you pick your blackheads, don't because you'll get skin like mine. <laughs> I've just changed some settings on my camera in hopes that I actually stay in focus this time because I don't know what is wrong with my camera but literally just keeps making me out of focus and my camera's wonky it's gonna have to stay so i really want to show you this i wanted to show you this earlier but i completely forgot about it so this is from look fantastic and it's their beauty box i got one last month and i showed you it in one of my other vlogs and i do have a discount code for look fantastic it's lfsa rianne but i want to tell you all about this because not many people know about it and I just think it's really good value for money so basically you get five or six products in here and i believe they're worth I'm going to put it on the screen how much they're worth because from the top of my head I can't actually remember. But yeah, I'm going to show you a load of little goodies that I got in here. I love how it comes in a travel bag as well. Because last month it came in just a regular box but this month it's come in an actual like makeup box. So maybe anyone, if you're going on holiday, then I think this would be perfect for you. I've got loads of makeup bags so I think I'm actually going to use this in my car or in my bag when I'm going to work. Do you know like putting like hand creams and my pads and everything but yeah i'm gonna go through and show you what i've got so the first thing is an invisibobble scrunchie spiral herring meat scrunchie i'm really excited to try this because this is really good if you're on like a hair care journey or something because obviously it doesn't like snag at your hair or anything like that it's meant to be really good at like obviously you can tie your hair up and then it doesn't pull anything out like the roots or anything because I'm really bad for things like that. I literally just rag the bobble out of my hair. Oh my god, do you know what? I always get headaches when I wear my hair up. But just swapping it to this from this. Like it just feels really lightweight. I can't really explain it. I'm really excited I've got this. The next thing we have is a mini Brazilian bum bum cream. I don't actually know what scent this one's in. Sol Janeiro. That's the brand, isn't it? That's not the scent. But yeah, look at how miniature this is. So maybe if you're going on holiday or something and you need to pack some moisturiser with you, this bag would be perfect. And also one of these. It smells unbelievable. I smelled it the other day. It just smells like holiday. I always love the minis more than the full size because they're just so cute. And I also really like the bum bum cream. Next thing is a coconut milk shampoo and conditioner. So this says it's for dry hair, which I'm gonna love because I've just had my hair dyed dark from bleach, but there is still some like dry pieces in here. So this is from Mao and leave it on the screen again for you and moisture hair care so it's a nourishing and coconut milk shampoo i really want to smell this as well i have to smell everything oh my god why did i wash my hair today and not use this it's so light yet so fresh i always associate coconut scents with being on holiday because i feel like that is the holiday scent like coconut doesn't it does anybody else agree with me that's so cool already we've got four things in here i know this comes as like a little set but we always need the set to go with each other so yeah already we've got four little minis in here and then the next thing we've got is the lms rehydrating ginseng toner so this claims to be a refreshing facial toner helps to revitalize and hydrate skin i think this is going to be good for like daytime skincare like morning skincare because the toner i've just used i don't think you're meant to use it am and pm i think it's one or the other so i'm actually really excited to try this i'm gonna put some i haven't even washed my hand from earlier that's gross i really need to go and do that i'm gonna put some of this on the back of my hand oh my god it smells so nice it smells like a spa oh, i can't wait to use that a lot of people rave about lms 
so I'm really excited. I like how you get the minis, just in case you don't like them, so it's cool to like try them out and then you'll know if you want the full size. And then the last thing we're having here is the Ultrasound SPF 30 Lip Protection and Care. If you didn't know, your lips are the sensitive, your lips are the most sensitive thing on your face, like skin wise. They're more delicate than like the skin in your face and like your chest and things like that, so we always need to wear SPF. My lips get really dry going into like spring from autumn and vice versa so i always need either a lip oil or a lip balm with me and i prefer lip balms when they've got spf in them another top tip as well if you want your lips to be nice and plump in the morning use lip balm the night before i don't know what it is i don't know what the science is behind it but they just feel so much nicer in the morning and they look a lot nicer i love that from look fantastic i love how they've started doing a little beauty box because like i said before you can just try things out without having to spend all the money on it and i think this is really good value for money and you'll also get i believe it's 20 percent off if you use my discount code which is lfs arian it's either 20 or 25 percent so it's a steal this is already really good value for money and then with a discount code on top it's even better i actually think i'm gonna go to bed edit this video and call it a day just because you've heard me ramble on for long enough at this point i literally just went to pick my camera up and i don't know what happened but everything went flying down like my camera decided to just turn off and then everything just came spiraling down on me but yeah i think i'm gonna edit this video well end this video here go to bed and edit it because i feel like you've heard me ramble on for long enough and your girl's tired and she needs a good night's sleep so yeah as always thank you all so much for watching if you did like this video make sure you smash it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below for more and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!